Today we welcome our learners on this platform. We shall be discussing weeds, their characteristics, and method of control of weeds. At the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to define weeds, enumerate at least five characteristics of weeds, enumerate at least five uses of weeds, explain at least four economic effects of weeds, list and explain the methods of weed control. Definition of weeds. A weed is any plant that grows in a place where it is not expected to grow, or plant which grows out of a place. A weed is a plant considered undesirable in a particular situation, a plant in the wrong place. Such a plant constitutes nuisance either to man, livestock, or plants. What are the characteristics of weeds? Weeds have the ability to regenerate themselves. That is, they are difficult to eradicate because of their generative features. Weeds produce many seeds which are easily dispersed. Weeds have high resistance capacity. Weeds have the ability to establish easy growth faster than crop plants. Weeds have the ability to survive under diverse climatic and soil conditions. That is, they are very persistent. Weeds have the devices for easy dispersal. This includes spines, hooks, parachutes, wings, with which they can be easily dispersed. Weeds have long period of viability. Uses of weeds. Weeds act as cover crops to control soil erosion. Such weeds can be centrosoma, calopogonium, allocentus. These weeds are cover crops that can be used to control soil erosion. They spread out just like a maize plant. Weeds can be used as mulch and compost materials. Mulch helps to conserve soil moisture, while compost materials are organic manure, which improves soil fertility. Weeds are used for food by man. Weed roots help to bind the soil particles together, thereby preventing erosion. They are sources of feeds to livestock. We can use guinea grass, elephant grass, and sage to feed livestock. Some weeds are medicinal in nature. One of them is the lemongrass. Weeds are major source of ornamental crops. Example, we have pride of vadodas, rose, canna lily, hibiscus, and even carpet grass, the natural one. Some weeds can control soil erosion. Some weeds are used for roofing and mat making. Weeds are used for compost making, which we have explained before. Leguminous weeds harbor bacteria that help in fixing atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. Effect or economic importance of weed. Now, when we are talking about effect or economic importance, we are not actually talking of the real importance of 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 of, of weeds. But what are those things that they cause around the farmers economically? Weeds compete with crops for sunlight, and weeds are capable of producing many light leaves which may grow and cover other plants around them. Weeds compete with crops for nutrients. The roots of weeds develop rapidly and remove considerable amount of soil nutrients. Weeds harbor crop pests and diseases. Some weeds may harbor crop pests and diseases which may be very dangerous to the crop plants around them. 
Weeds compete with crop for soil moisture. Their roots are capable of developing very fast, removing large amount of soil moisture, while by so doing, they deprive the actual crop plants, the crops that are intended to be cultivated by the farmer, they deprive them of the soil moisture. Losses in crop yield. Now we explain that they deprive them of nutrients and soil moisture. The truth is that if a crop plant does not have enough nutrients and moisture, definitely the expected yield will be very low. Weeds compete with crop for soil oxygen. Some weeds act as parasites of crops and may kill their hosts. Example, we have striga, doda, and mistletoe. Weeds can cause losses in quality of crops. Weeds can also cause losses in income of the farmer. The truth is that when there is low yield coupled with a reduction in quality of produce, this can affect the income of the farmer. If the produce is the yield is low, and even with that, if the produce is of lower quality the farmer cannot sell those kind of crops out and gain money definitely the income of that farmer will reduce some weeds are toxic to farm animals they can increase the cost of production when you say okay i have a weed on my farm as a farmer definitely you will not just go and fold your arms you do everything possible to control such weeds. And in doing that, the cost of production may probably be increased. You say, okay, let me use insecticide. You spend money to buy, I mean, well, let me use herbicide. You send, spend money to buy herbicide. Why so? The cost of production is increased. Classification of weeds. Weeds can be classified based on their habitats, number one. In this, we have aquatic weeds, and then we have terrestrial weeds. Then we have epiphytic weeds, weeds that grow on other plants. The weeds can also be classified based on their life cycle. We have the annual weeds, we have the biennial weeds, and we have the perennial weeds. And wheat can also be classified based on the types of leaves. We have the broad leaves grasses and also the narrow leaves grasses. Methods of weed control. Number one, we have the physical method. In this method, hole can be used, hand pulling can be used, slashing with cutlass can also be applied, use of plow can be applied. Rogging can also be used in controlling of weeds. Cultural method. Now, cultural method is a method of weed control in which uh, everything used in this method has to do with agricultural practices for example we have mulching mulching mulch are spread flat to suppress weeds and prevent them from sprouting we have flooding water is led to the farmland to kill weeds then burning vegetation crop residue is set on fire to kill the weed seeds cover crop in fast growing legumes are planted one to another to smooth out the weed. Crop rotation, this is also effective for controlling weeds associated with specific crop. Then we have close spacing and also close season.
Then we have biological method. Biological method is a weed control whereby we use the enemies of such, such, such weeds to eradicate them. The use of parasites and predators to control weeds. Legume can be used to smooth the weeds. Some animals like cattle, sheep can also feed on weeds. Insect can be used to kill some weeds. Example, we have cactoblastic, which is used to destroy cactus weeds. Chemical method. This involves the use of herbicides to destroy weeds. Herbicides are chemical substances that can kill weeds. You see a man here using knapsack sprayer. Classification of herbicides. Based on mode of action, we have selective herbicide. Kill a particular type of weed is specific in destroying weeds. Then we have the non-selective herbicide, kill both broad leaf and narrow leaf weeds, kill everything. Then we have system active ingredient, goes from the roots into the weed system and kill it. Then we have contact herbicide, has immediate effect on the weeds upon contact with thing. Now we have time of application of herbicides. Preplant herbicides are applied before the seeds are planted. Then we have pre-emergence herbicide are applied before planted seed emerge. We have post-emergence herbicides. These are applied after the emergence of both crops and weeds. Benefit of herbicides. Easy to apply, fast in action, cover large area of land, saves level. Methods of dispersal of weeds. Weeds can be dispersed number one by wind. The fruit and the seeds of many weeds are carried by winds and they are spread from one place to another. It can also be despised by animals. Animals like rabbits, rats, squirrels, and man are involved in dispersal of weed seeds. Animal dispersed seeds usually have sticky fruits or seeds, which may adhere to the coat of the animal and they are carried from one place to another. Seeds can also, wheat seeds can also be dispersed by water. The seed of weeds may fall into water and thus transported as the water carries it along as it moves. Example of common weeds. We have elephant grass. The botanical name is Pensetrum perperium. It is found in a wide range of soils. It is tall. It grows in dense clumps of up to 10 to, I mean, up to 10 feet tall. In the savannah of Africa, it grows along lake beds, rivers, where the soil is rich. They are yellowish or purple in color. The stems are coarse and hairy. The leaves are two to three feet long. The edges of the leaves are razor sharp. Spare grass. Heteroprogon coctosus. They grow in poor soil as well as soil with high acidity. They are cool season tough ted perennial crops or grasses. 
The foliage grows from 10 to 20 centimeters high. Most species flowers in spring. Common name is known as day flower. Effect of weeds control on the environment. Now we study about four types of weed control system. Now, this weed control can also have negative effect on the environment. Let's look at this negative effect. Now let's start with chemical control. What happens if you use chemical control method in controlling weeds? What happens to the environment? Now some beneficial organisms may be killed. The chemicals can be poisonous to man and animals. Air, water and soil can be polluted. It requires technical knowledge. What about the effect of biological control? Predators may later feed on the normal crops. Introduced plants may be difficult to control. Effect of cultural method. Fire may kill beneficial organisms. Burning may be difficult to control. Fire destroys organic matter in the soil. Tillage operation destroys soil structure that may lead to erosion. Assessment. What is a weed? Enumerate five characteristics of weeds. Explain five uses of weeds. Explain three economic importance of weeds. List three methods of weeds control. Explain any two methods listed in 3A. Thank you for being on this platform today.